It seems like everything costs money, and with your thirst of snacks, food, and items growing, your bank account is trying to bump itself off. Hi, my name's Alex, and if you didn't know, I'm a college student. Let's say you're trying to survive with a limited amount of funds, like most college students are. There are smarter ways to getting what you need and want. First, let's talk about food. I wanted to cover this topic now because by serving the people at my college, that seems to be where a majority of their money is going to. If you've ever gone to a fast food place such as McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, always check to see if they have a mobile app to the place that you're going to. It could be deals such as free stuff, coupons, and just a rewards program that could really save you a lot of money. If you're someone who doesn't want to leave the safety of their dorm room or just their room period, then food delivery might be your option. But be careful. A lot of these food delivery apps like to have a really outrageous delivery fee that could end up making your two-piece chicken nuggets turn into a five-course meal. That's just delivery fees. I would, however, recommend DoorDash if it's available in your area. I'm not sponsored by them, but here's why I say that. DoorDash has a pretty good first-time user coupon, which most delivery places have, but they also have a promotion if it's going on right now, but they have it to where you can get $1 delivery fees and that cuts a lot of people out, such as Uber Eats, Grubhub, and just all these other places. If a coupon wasn't provided to you and you signed up to DoorDash, check in the description. I have a link for you guys, and you're welcome. <laughs> if you see that none of those options are for you, ramen noodles actually don't taste that bad, and they're really cheap, about probably about $2 for a 12-pack. Hey, you're a college student. Secondly, Let's talk grocery and supply shopping. Not everything has to be name brand. <laughs> it's okay to get the great value brand and the off-brand cereal. Oh my God. It's even better if there's a Dollar Tree, a Family Dollar, or any type of dollar store near you because then you can ball out on a budget. And for most of you guys, you know what that means. <laughs> and seriously, it's easier on your wallet. Lastly, and probably the most unpopular opinion of 2019 from me, you don't need AirPods. Just, you don't, this, you don't need them. Go grab some headphones. <laughs> you don't need the limited edition shoe or item that cost your entire bank account. You really don't need expensive materialistic things that will go unnoticed anyway by people. <laughs> and if you feel the need to get those items with your limited amount of cash, you're going to want to go fill out that job application because you're definitely a hundred percent going to be absolutely broke. Thanks for coming to my tech talk everyone and if you did enjoy the video please hit a like and subscribe and hit that bell icon. There will also be my end video card that's always at the end of all of my videos. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And it's been your friendly neighborhood programmer, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching the video, and if you did enjoy the video, please hit that subscribe button, press a like if you did like the video, and also hit that bell icon because that would be really cool, because you'll get a notification whenever I post my next video, whether it be on your tablet, your phone, your computer, and that would really help out. But thank you guys for watching, and tune in for more videos.